Samsung fans, it's time to get excited again. While the rollout of One UI 7 based on Android 15 is still ongoing across various Galaxy devices, there's already buzz building around the next big software upgrade, One UI 8, based on Android 16 Google, is expected to release the stable version of Android 16 sometime in June 2025. And while Pixel phones will of course be the first to receive it, Samsung users won't have to wait too long either. That's because Samsung has its own beta testing program, which allows selected Galaxy devices to try out the latest version of One UI before the official rollout begins. Although Samsung hasn't made any official announcements just yet, the rumor mill suggests that the One UI 8 beta program could start as early as May, which means it could be right around the corner. And with Samsung's next generation of foldables likely launching in July, expected to come with Android 16 and One UI 8 pre-installed, this timeline makes a lot of sense. Samsung has already stated that One UI 8 hasn't been released or officially confirmed for any devices. The company clarified that any devices reportedly running One UI 8 are most likely internal test units used for early development purposes and are not part of a public rollout. However, there is some solid evidence pointing to the fact that testing is already underway. According to reports from Sam Mobile, early firmware builds of One UI 8 have been spotted running on the upcoming Galaxy S25 series. That's no surprise, of course. The newest Galaxy flagships are always the first in line to receive major software upgrades. Looking at how One UI 7 was rolled out, it's likely that other non-flagship models will follow after a short delay. Possibly a few weeks to a couple of months. The good news is that One UI 8 isn't expected to bring a massive list of new features this time around, which could help speed up the release process across various devices. Now let's take a look at the list of Galaxy phones and tablets that are expected to be eligible for the One UI 8 beta program. Keep in mind that this list is unofficial and subject to change, but it's based on Samsung's usual software update patterns and insider leaks. Starting with the Galaxy S series, we're expecting support for Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, and the S25 Edge Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra, and S24F, eGalaxy S23, S23 Plus, S23 Ultra, and S23F, eGalaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra. And yes, even the Galaxy S21 FE is expected to be included. Moving on to the Galaxy Z series, the foldables expected to join the beta program are Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Fold 5 Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Flip 5 Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 and the Galaxy Z Fold Special. Addition. Next up is the Galaxy A series, one of Samsung's most popular lineups. Eligible devices may include Galaxy A73, A56, A55, A54, and A53 Galaxy A36, A35, A34, A33 Galaxy A25, A24, and A23 Galaxy A15, A14, and A16, both LTE and 5G versions, and the Galaxy A06. For tablet users, Samsung hasn't forgotten you. The following Galaxy Tab models are likely candidates. Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra, S10 Plus, S10 FE, and S10 FE Plus Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, S9 Plus, and S9 Wi-Fi and 5G variants, Galaxy Tab S9 FE and S9 FE Plus Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, S8 Plus, and S8 Wi-Fi and 5G Galaxy. Tab A9 and A9 Plus in the Galaxy F series, devices likely to get one UI8 include Galaxy F55, F54, F34 Galaxy, F16, F15, and F06, and for the Galaxy M series, here are the expected devices, Galaxy M56, M55, M55, and M54 Galaxy, M53, M34, M33 Galaxy, M16, M15, and M06. Lastly, for those in more rugged environments, Samsung's X-Cover lineup is also getting some love. Galaxy X-Cover 7 and X-Cover 7 Pro are both likely to be included. Again, it's important to remember that none of these models have been officially confirmed by Samsung just yet, but based on current trends and insider reports, this list looks pretty accurate. If your device is on the list, chances are you'll get to test Android 16 and One UI 8 before the final version becomes available to everyone. Just be sure to keep an eye out for official announcements from Samsung in the coming weeks. That's all for now. If you found this update helpful, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you won't miss our next video on everything Samsung. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.